let's talk about your visit to Washington. You spent some time, as Taoiseachs tend to do this time of year, with the president, with President Trump, and with Vice President Pence this morning. What was your main takeaway from that visit? Yeah, well, first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's great to be here in New York. Uh, looking forward to joining the parade tomorrow. Um, Ireland uh, has a unique asset in that our National Day, St. Patrick's Day, is celebrated all over the world. Um, and um, my ministers, members of my government, are out celebrating all over the world um, and telling people the story of Ireland. And uh, I'm delighted to be here in the United States. Uh, so, as you said, last two days uh, were in Washington, D.C., an opportunity to meet the president, vice president, uh, speaker of the house, and. Um, uh, some cabinet secretaries and leaders in Congress. Uh, and really what I was talking about in the main was the extent to which uh, the relationship between Ireland and America now uh, is one that is a very strong bilateral relationship economically and politically. Uh, so everyone knows that a lot of American firms invest in Ireland. What a lot of people don't know is there are now 500 Irish firms that have invested in the US, employ 100,000 people across 50 states, uh, and we have 2 billion euros worth of trade crossing the Atlantic every week uh, and going in, in both directions. We have a, a trade surplus when it comes to merchandise. The US has a trade surplus when it comes to services, and it pretty much balances out. So we want uh, more jobs, more trade, and more investment between our two countries. So more trade. Trade obviously has been a huge topic uh, in this country, and because of that, globally, owing to the tariffs that the president has spoken about, were you less optimistic, more optimistic about global trade coming off of these discussions? Yeah, I'm a little bit more optimistic going home uh, than I was when I arrived, um, although certainly not complacent. I think the president uh, means what he says in terms of imposing tariffs uh, on steel and aluminum. Um, but I did detect uh, um, a real openness from the administration. Uh, and also on the Hill uh, to re-engaging with the European Union around the possibility of a free trade agreement. Uh, maybe not a TTIP as it was planned, but a new bilateral agreement between the European Union and America on trade. And I certainly would prefer us to have a trade agreement uh, rather than a trade war, which is the alternative, and I think everyone would lose from that.